Okay, so let's get honest about the free alternatives of mid journey. I know most of you guys have seen a lot of videos on free AI art generators, but today I'm gonna share my personal favorite AI tool that I use most of the time. And believe me, this is the best. So what's this AI tool is? Let's find out. Okay, the tool that I'm talking about is called Tensor Art. I know most of you guys have already heard about this tool, but 70% of people fails to experience the actual potential of this AI tool and fails to get the photorealistic results. But in this video, I'm gonna share a few models and settings to achieve the photorealistic results. So first of all, let's take a quick tour of this AI tool. So here you can see the models. So basically this is based on the stable diffusion and you can see all of the familiar models. So this is a complete list of models where you can see the anime model and even we have the photorealistic models. So this is just like an endless list of the models. So basically this is based on stable diffusion, but this is cloud based. So if you guys want to use the stable diffusion and afraid of installing the stable diffusion and going all of these process of installing the models and worried about the GPU and the VRAMs. So you should definitely consider this A tool. So first of all, let's try generating some images here. And for that, I'm going to use my personal favorite model that is Juggernaut Excel. So simply click on that and here you can see the images that people have generated using this A tool. And look at these images. These are some actual photorealistic results. Look at this. So I'm going to use the same model to generate the images and I like this image. So I'm going to click on this remix button to generate the similar images. And now we are on the workspace and here you can see we have the models option. So you can even search for the models that you want to install. So right now this is the Juggernaut Excel selected. So if you want to select any other model, you can click on that. And here you can see the list of models that you can use inside of this workspace. And then we have the options to add the LoRa models in it. So you can click on this models section. And here you have all of the LoRa models that you can use inside of this AI tool. But for now, I'm going to use the default settings. And we have, we also have the option to add the control net, but control net is not supported for this particular model, but we will also use this option. And here you can see the prompt that it copied from that image. So I'm going to use the same prompt. Here we have the negative prompt. And if I scroll down, you can see we have the option to select the aspect ratio. So we have the portrait, landscape, square, and you can even select your custom size to generate the image. So I'm going to select the landscape. And then we have the sampling steps. So this is one of the most important option that most of the guys use inside of the stable diffusion. And I believe the default one works really, really good. And then we have the, my favorite option that is seed values. So I think this is one of the most important options because I use this option to generate the A influencers. So if you guys have watched my video on A influencers, I use the same A art to generate those A influencer images. Okay, so then we have the advanced option. So if you want to play around with these settings, you can also play around. Then we have the upscaling options. We have 1x, 2x, 3x, 4x. So you can select your favorite one. And then we also have the option to select the upscaler, what upscaler model you want to use. So I'm going to click on that. And here you can see a complete list of upscalers that you can use. And you can find each and every upscaler that you can use inside of the stable diffusion. So I'm going to use my favorite. S Gen 4X and next you have the option to high steps and the denoising strength. So if you know about all of these settings, you can play around with these settings. And next we have the option to select the number of images. So I'm going to select the four images and hit generate and let's see what it comes up with. Okay. So these are the output images and just look at that. Just look at this image, how realistic this image is. Just look at the details, even on the skin textures. Just look at that. This is a super realistic image and this is the second image and if I zoom it in you can see how detailed this image is and can you believe that these are the results from this free AI tool this is insane this is the third image this one is also really good and this is the last image so if I hover over these images you can see some options here we have the remix options if we click on the remix option this will generate the similar images to this image then we have the image to image option that I'm going to show you later in the video. Then we have the upscaler. So you can upscale your images even more. Then we have the option of the after detailer and then we have the in paint option. So I'm going to upscale this image and here we have the options like how much upscaling you want. Here we have the 1.5x, 2x, 3x, 4x 
and then you can also select the custom one so i'm gonna select the 2x and the upscaler so i'm gonna again select my favorite okay so these are the results after upscaling this image and you can see this is even more detailed than the previous one just look at that now let's try its image to image option so i'm gonna click on the image to image option and here you guys can upload your image so i'm gonna upload my image so let's say i want to upload this image so i'm gonna click on that and then you have to enter your prompt so i'm gonna copy the same prompt that i used for the text to image so i'm gonna paste the same prompt and the negative prompt will also be same and the aspect ratio will be landscape and hit generate okay so these are the results from the image to image option and you can see we have the square aspect ratio because uh, previously i selected the wrong aspect ratio we have to select the aspect ratio according to our input image so these are the results from the image to image and one more thing that you can even make animations inside of this AI tool yes you heard that right animative is like a skyrocket right now and you can also do the animations inside of this AI tool and for that simply click on this animate option and here you can see it's using the SDXL model so you can also change the model if you want to so I'm gonna click on the models and uh, here I'm gonna select any other model like this epic realism and in the prompt section i'm gonna type a 22 years old german woman portrait close-up hyper real and the negative prompt will be the same and uh, let's generate okay so these are the output results these are some realistic results but you can see we have a very slow moment in it but let's try something else okay so i tried this time the same settings but i just changed the prompt like a beautiful woman at the coffee shop and let's see how does it perform with this one okay the results are ready and let's take a look you can see we have some funkiness going on but you can get the idea how all of these things will work so you can try different models you can try different lower models you can try different prompts here and try different aspect ratio so this is like a playground you can play whatever you want to and one more useful option that you can try here that you can even host your personal models so if you want to host your models like if you have any model so you can click on this host my models and you can create a new project and if you have models on the CVT AI you can also import your models from the CVT AI so I'm gonna click on that and here you can see we have the option to paste the link so if you have any model on the CVT AI you can simply copy the link of your model and paste it here and then you can submit it and start using it well they do have an API that you can integrate in your personal tools so there was a quick tutorial on how you guys can use the tensor art and i think this is one of the best alternatives of mid journey so the link is in the description below i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one